Good morning, Tuesday morning, Garden of England. Oh, it could be warmer this morning. Anyway, before we get into uh, the thought for today, um, have you watched the video interview with Kathleen yet? Um, and it seems that those of you who have, like me, have been truly inspired by the opportunity for me to interview. It was just extraordinary. Um, but I th this is a, a really important. If you haven't watched it yet, then why don't you ask yourself why? At what level of consciousness are you making the decision not to watch it yet? Because what if it's back to what I find myself editing this morning? I'm editing a draft that I've done of over the uh, creating a new version of the book um, that I've been working on and back to the very basics and what if the real reason you're not watching that is because you're frightened of success that at some level of consciousness as I argue in that book and as I've stood in stages and said I really believe we don't fear failure, we fear success. And all you've got by listening to Kathleen is a human being using the tools and techniques to constantly get out of our comfort zone. <clears throat> what if the reason you're not watching it? Because you're in a massive comfort zone. What if the reason why you're not sharing it? Because I've noticed there's not a lot of shares. So why are you not sharing it? What's that about? What is it you're frightened of? That others go on and achieve amazing things like Kathleen? Or is it you might wonder that maybe you've not used the tool so much yourself and your family, your friends, your loved ones, well, what are you doing with it? Might put you under some subtle pressure, I understand that. But remember, we're committed to progress, not perfection. I don't judge anyone who doesn't use the tools and techniques. Many people, they had them given to them, they didn't necessarily invest in them themselves. But, um, think about it. Now you see, this today, yesterday I had planned that I would do the preparation for recording on Friday of this new course to help your loved ones, your friends, your family and so on, your colleagues. But it was a beautiful day, so we decided, no, let's um, let's go out for a lovely walk, and we did that. So today I'm going to be working on it. You know, but what's the point of me working on it? What's the point of me going down to the studio tomorrow on Friday and starting the recording process so that I create the course? It isn't for you. If you've done Mindstore with me, if you've done Mindstore in the last wee while when it's been available, it's not for you, it's for your family, your loved ones, your friends. You know, of course, look, lots of you have never been in a course for a long time, well, you're going to get a lot of a lot of inspiration and hope out of it. But, you know, if you can't treat yourself to the interview, first of three amazing interviews, and you don't have the confidence to share it, well, you're never going to share that course. effort goes into it to record and make that course who is it you're frightened of sharing this with because Mindstore works and all you're going to hear by watching Kathleen is it working and that's before you get to the extraordinary next two videos now I'll probably post the next one on Thursday um, so you've got access to that one over the coming weekend and but Right at the start of it, I say, you know, you really need the context of understanding what was on in the first interview. And so you really need to get ahead of yourself and watch the video. But again, ask yourself, why is it you're not watching? And there might be real good reasons. Scheduling things. Get that, get that. Of course we do. But um, is, there, is there a deeper reason? What if it calls you back? What if it calls you back to start using the tools and techniques to go out there and change your life? <clears throat> now in editing and looking at this draft that I did this morning of the introductory chapter of this book, what's, what's become apparent is I'm back to the real, the real, real basics. 
And one of the most inspiring things that I ever came across was the idea of Thomas Edison. And the whole thing about him creating the first light bulb. <laughs> Imagine that job was given to you, not him. Because depending on what the stories you hear, you, you hear that he experimented a thousand times to get the filaments to work so that he could create light. And up until that point in history, the only way you really got light was with fire. You know, in a candle or maybe at that point some people were gas. But nevertheless, it was always about fire. Um, and this guy had the job of giving us light by using that thing that even yet we don't fully understand, maybe that thing called electricity. And he, um, he did it. He never gave up. And one of the most amazing things he said was, if you think you can, now you'll remember me saying this to you in the courses because I always said it, if you think you can or you think you can't, you're absolutely right. Just, just think about that. I'll say it again. If you think you can or you think you can't, you're absolutely right. So getting ahead of what I hope to do for you in December, four weeks, the goal setting process, so that you, you arrive into January, you arrive into 2025, totally prepared, totally committed to the goals that you uncover. And again, that's why it's so important to to go and watch the contribution from Catherine at this time. How she consistently set goals, consistently set one, achieved them, and then set another one. And none of them were simple, easily, sort of realistic, achievable goal type things. They were all massive, huge. And <laughs> the interviews haven't stopped yet. Wait to see what comes next. So, today, why not work on the basics? Why not just pay attention to the conversations coming across your mind? Why not pay attention to the, the words you're using? Why not use the, that program, that powerful basic mindstore tool? And if need be, wear the bell jar to protect yourself from the negativity of others. Why not start to do the work now? Really work on yourself. Guard, guard with all your might, the quality of your thinking. And drive yourself forward with that positivity in preparation for what's coming in, the, in that goal setting process that I will do with you. Now listen, I'm up for a cracking day working on your behalf, not your immediate behalf, but the people you love and care for's behalf. I'll see you tomorrow, bye now.